Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my channel again. Welcome back. Today we're here to talk about some fragrances that I've been loving and wearing and I wanted to bring them here to you so that you can also love them and wear them as well. The scents that I'm going to mention today, they definitely remind me of a tropical vacation, a beach trip, or a trip to the swimming pool, or a vacation out in the sun. So if you are interested, go ahead and stay tuned for the fragrances that I've chose today and I will see you. So guys, the first scent that I am going to mention is from Tom Ford and it's called Soleil Blanc. I'm sure you've already heard of it, but I've had it in my collection for a while and um, it's, a, it's a really good scent. And I feel like every time I'm thinking about going out and it's really gonna, it's gonna be really, really hot, this scent is just one of those scents that I gravitate towards and this one is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc EDP and this is the 50 mil, which is the 1.7 flow ounce. Um, let's go ahead and get into some of these main chords. So we have coconut, white floral, sweet, amber, tuberose, yellow floral, vanilla, woody, warm, spicy, and nutty. So this one right here is, mm, it's so sweet, it's, I, wanted, I wanted to say sweet for some reason, it's not really sweet, but it just has like this cooling vibe, it's very interesting, it's just subtle, it's very, very, very subtle, it's a very light scent, so if you're one of those people who are like, I like perfume, but I don't like perfume to be so loud because it gives me a headache. If you're one of those people, then I believe this scent is for you. Also, if you love the smell of a really good um, sunscreen, then I think you will love this one as well. It just smells very good, lightly fragrant. This smell reminds me of like a cool coconut with that um, suntan smell, just very beachy like not so tropical just beachy or pool or out in the sun like it's not very tropical but you can definitely still think of it as a vacation scent because i mean it depends on where you're traveling to honestly it's not a scent that you'll wear to a place that's really icy and cold not at all very much a summertime springtime scent and um vacation vibes it's just so beautiful guys this scent is very very beautiful and light and just um it does have the sweetness to it the sweet comes a little bit later it just starts off so much more on the cooler side and just like mm, it's just beautiful mm, i really love this scent but um yeah so that's the tom ford soleil blanc edp and um i have another one that i'm going to talk about from tom ford and it is the soleil blanc um edt and i mean ed so it's called tom ford all day soleil blanc now this one is the same size and i actually got this one before i got the edp and um i got this one because I really like the smell it was very beautiful and I feel like it's a little bit less expensive than the EDP so um, I got this one first and I loved it so much you can see the bottle is translucent on this one so you can see how much I have left um, I definitely am a over sprayer so I spray it so much but um, the reason I have went back and got the EDP is because I felt like this fragrance wasn't lasting as long as I would love it to do. I mean, love it to, but it's such a great scent that I felt as if like I still need it. <laughs> like I still love it. I still want it. So I was like, let me just get the EDP and if I wear them together, then they'll stay a little longer. And that may be the case, but I still feel like I have to reapply throughout the day and it's because it doesn't give off the um, fragrance like from my skin to my nose. I don't get whiffs of this throughout the day. Now what it does do is it sticks to the 
your fabric so whatever clothes you're wearing if you spray it on there it'll definitely stay there and I know that because when I get home when I get home and I change my clothes later on I always smell them and it's when I wear these fragrances it's still on there so I feel as if people around me can smell it but for some reason I just can't get the whiff because it's so lightly scented and I guess that's fine like I said I really love the scent and honestly when I purchase these again if I do have to purchase them I mean if I do when I purchase again I'm definitely gonna choose this one and I'm gonna tell you why this one right here definitely has more of that freshness it's just so much more bright it's so much more green it gives off more of like um that sunny day <sighs> i can't even explain it it's just so much more like citrusy and white floral like um green and amber like it, it just gives off so much more than the EDP does to me and I know I don't really I honestly I've been saying a lot of like I don't really care for EDTs because they don't last that long but I'm gonna go back on that because if it's a EDT that I really like I think I'm still gonna buy it I, I'm just gonna you know reapply it if it does wear off a little faster if I really love it right okay so for the next one that I'm gonna get into it is not a perfume but it does belong to the family of the Soleil Blanc the Tom Ford and it's the body shimmering oil and this is here it right here um, this is a really nice oil if you're traveling as well and you want more of that glimmer that you know like the sun-kissed skin they have this one they have uh, one that's similar to like a pinkish tone and then also one that has like more of a silver tone and I don't believe it has anything to do with um, skin tone although I'm sure skin tones pull off things differently but if you're going for gold this is the one and I feel as if this one doesn't really have a scent I mean it smells like they added two drops of the Soleil Blanc like is very lightly scented and it also has like the tiniest bit of baby oil smell to it and I like the smell of baby oil so there's nothing wrong with that but this is a very beautiful shimmering oil um, I'll go ahead and apply it just so that you can see it I'm not sure if you can see that but I feel like if you're traveling and you want that sun-kissed skin and um, you just want to shimmer and glow then this is a perfect body oil for you like I said it's lightly scented so you won't feel as if like you smell this heavy scent that's absorbing your fragrance or making your fragrance smell a little different because it is very loud you won't get that from this because it it's it definitely does not smell loud um, yeah and I've worn this I didn't really notice it staining my clothes or anything like that but I would still say be careful it's oil perfumes too be careful but yeah this is like the glare that is given I don't know if you can see a difference but I do notice a difference and I definitely highly recommend this body oil if you're in search for one I feel like with this oil I don't need another one it's not sticky at all it's just very light and it's just like a light oil you don't feel like it's bothering you so if you're on a search for an oil for your vacation or just in general you're going out in the sun and you're wearing your sleep your arms out your um, chest out legs out this is a perfect oil for you and then I'm gonna talk about is the Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower this scent is very very beautiful and sweet if you like sweet I feel like you get the first note that you get from this is very like um, the first note that you get from this is pineapple that's what I smell right off the bat Ooh, if you love pineapple you will love this it smells like the the freshest most yellow most juicy pineapple that there is it's so beautiful with this scent too I feel as if like 
the smaller bottles are perfect because you can just put them in your bag you can just put them wherever especially when they're very light i mean when they're light scents when they're light scents you might have to reapply throughout the day so having that huge bottle at home is not going to help you so just get a little small bottle let's go ahead and get into the main accords so for the main accords you have um passion fruit pineapple leaves and banana flower so you definitely get that passion fruit I definitely smell the passion fruit. You get the pineapple leaves. It smells so good. Um, if you're not into banana, I honestly don't smell much banana. Maybe no, even when I wear it for a long time, I don't I don't get the banana smell from it. But I read some reviews where people were like, I didn't like it, it smelled like banana, and I don't smell banana yet. So I really like it. I think it's a really great fresh scent. Very tropical. So um, I feel like layering these with this or with this, the Soleil Blanc, you'll definitely get a more unique smell and it'll be more like suntanny, fresh and fruity. Very beautiful scent. So the next fragrance that we're gonna get into is by um, Bath and Body Works and it's called Copper Coconut Sands and it's such a beautiful scent, guys. You have to get in there and just smell these fragrances. You don't have to purchase them. Just go in and smell them and see if you love them. But, oh my God. So I was looking for a coconut scent and I went to Sephora and I just kept on smelling a bunch of them. And I found one, but I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. So then I left there and then I went to Bath and Body Works and I just started smelling all the scents and I gravitated to this one. I was like, oh my God, this smells like exactly what I'm looking for. So pretty. And just imagine them like just layered on with the scents that I mentioned already. It's amazing. It's a vibe. It's like you're, you're definitely at the beach or you are on an island or you just having a great day and it's a sunny day that you're having okay so go ahead and get your nose on this one let's go ahead and get into some of the main accords we have sunkissed coconut um soft orchid petals and creamy sandalwood so this one right here reminds me of this the oil can you just like like look at these they they kind of like go together a little bit you know Copper Coconut Sands and Soleil Blanc. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I also got the lotion to go with that. And I got travel sizes because, I mean, it's not really travel size, but this is like the 2.5 ounce. Um, if you hear that noise in the background, that is my ice machine making me some delicious ice because I love to eat ice. And I have to mention that because it's just really loud. Um, so yeah, this right here, um, I feel like you can just throw this in your bag. It meets, um, airport guidelines if you're just having a carry on. So that's perfect. And, um, also if you're like in the neighborhood and you live in a sunny town or a summertime or springtime, then you just have like all these things to refresh with all day. Because again, they're very light scent, so they really don't last all day. And these you do have to reapply. So getting it in the smaller size is a better idea than grabbing that huge bottle that you can't take with you anywhere. You know, it's just a tip. Now we're gonna get into the last fragrance and the last fragrance is called Pacific Lime by Atelier Clones. This perfume is beautiful. This is it right here. This definitely gives me more of the tropical vibes. And I also love this because it's made out of glass, like most perfume bottles, except for like the um, the Bath and Body Works bottles. This isn't gonna break. But when you buy travel size bottles, a lot of the times they just fall out of your bag. I've had that recently, honestly. I think it was what fragrance was it? Mm, I feel like it was a coffee scent. I forgot what it was. But it was in my bag and I was reaching for something I was as I was getting out the car and 
it just broke oh wait first i heard this woman screaming so i looked at her and then this car came and he was honking so i was totally distracted and the glass bottle just fell and broke and i was like oh man so these bottles right here with the um sleeve it definitely comes in handy and it's a lot more than a travel size so it'll last you for a long time but um this one right here definitely has this grapefruit musky smell to it like first off and then you smell that lime and you get that sweetness from it um but it's definitely it definitely reminds me of like a tropical paradise type of vibe so let's go ahead and get into some of these main accords have yeah, citrus aromatic green coconut sweet fresh spicy and woody so this one is definitely a fresh scent um, like I said, I like to keep it in my bag to refresh with. I get lots of compliments on this one. And I think it's more so because I'm just like freshly spraying it. So guys, all of these fragrances together can be combined in any type of way that you would like to layer them. I say that because they're all very light scents. One is probably more um, beachy than the other. The other one's probably more tropical than the other. But combining them together just gives you that water vibe anyways. So if you feel as if like you have no water near you, I mean you don't have a beach near you or you're not going on vacation anytime soon, go ahead and have an experience like I always say and create the vibe yourself. Like you can go ahead and spray these scents on you or whatever you have in your collection that reminds you of a vacation that you are longing for. Go ahead and put that on your body and then just have that experience. Create the vibe at your home our a local park or a local lake a beach whatever you need to feed that appetite you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to spend your money to do like um major big trips you can have that moment with the scent so that's why i'm here i really really love perfume guys i really love the the places that scents can take you i love that it's an experience for me so i wanted to share that with you and that's why i'm here so if you have any questions for me or if you have any um, suggestions for me, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Don't forget to comment. I mean, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notifications button so you're alerted when I make a new video. And hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video. And in the description will be um, videos that I've already done. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.